Yeah, I do it too. This time we are talking about overthinking. Like, what exactly does it happen? And I mean, it just prevents us from doing so many different things, like going up and talking to people, job interviews, going to social events, and just connect with other people. Moreover, I, I really can't think of anything good that actually came out of overthinking. Uh, if you think that there is something, yeah, go ahead, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, of course, the bell. So the two sections I'll be going over today, especially for reasons for overthinking, are consistent rejections or failure, and the other one is negative narratives. Both very interesting topics, and let's get into it. So how does overthinking happen? You know, I find it really helpful to use a little illustration sometimes, so we're gonna do that now. So here, let's say you have a random guy. Let's call him Kylo. Kylo did not grow up in a very good family atmosphere. It wasn't very welcoming, and he didn't really get that much love and support from his parents or his siblings. And then, whenever he tries to talk to his peers, he got rejected. He was pushed out. He was isolated from the people that he's trying to be friends with. When he goes outside, people treat him differently. It almost feels like people are looking at him in a different way, giving him weird glances or just staring at him. And he becomes more isolated by himself because he feels like no matter what he does, it's wrong. He's rejected no matter what he does when he goes outside and try to interact with other people, even though he wants friendships. And he has no idea what is the right way to act, to get friendships. So because of this, he starts overthinking everything. He starts looking at the way that he talks, how his voice sounds, where he puts his hands, is he saying anything that's offending to other people? Because he really wants to just be like everyone else. And this cultivates a fear that is inside of him. And every time when he goes outside, he expects that pain of rejection because he has experienced it so many times. Then he started saying things like, oh, I'm always like this. People don't like me anyways. You can see that overthinking comes from this development between your environment, people that you surround yourself with, and it cultivates a fear that is inside of you for that expectation of pain of rejection. And that overwhelms you so much that you overthink about every small thing that you do. This is why in order to break out of overthinking, you really have to have a successful experience of whatever you're trying to do even just once. So whenever you fail, you have something to fall back on. Oh shoot, I failed? That's okay. I've succeeded before, I know I can do it again. See, that's the attitude that you want to have because you always want something that you can depend on and fall back to so that you can boost your confidence up because you've done it before. This is why that first win, especially with social skills, it's so critical. If you can break through it and have those few successes, go back onto it, ride that momentum. And this can really change the way that you think and interact with everyone else around you. Now, another reason for overthinking is actually negative narratives or bad stories that are being played inside of your head. When I'm talking about stories, I'm not talking about stories that are like bad movies, like. April and Lincoln, the Vampire Hunter. Yeah, don't don't waste your time. I'm talking about the fact that in this narrative, in the story that you have, the protagonist does not win. I mean, do we in general want to go see a movie where the protagonists go through all these struggles, fight through all these horrible challenges, and then in the end he just fails. He doesn't win anything. He loses everything. And that in the end. No, because that's horrible. Like, it almost feels like it's saying all these challenges and struggles that we went through, it's all for nothing. And the truth is, it isn't. 
So we don't want to let this kind of narrative inside of our head, and then that causes us to overthink everything. Let's use a real life example. I want you to imagine that you're going in to Starbucks. Great. I mean, a little different during COVID, but let's just say a coffee shop. You're just going in, getting coffee. But then out of nowhere, someone gives you a weird look. You have no idea what it means. You just thought that it's probably because that you look funny or weird, and somehow that's why that person's staring at you. And that makes you dread going to Starbucks again. However, the person was actually just looking at your shirt and the message that was on the shirt and feeling really intrigued by it. But however, that's not what actually happened, right? No. As people, we naturally start to look at all the negative things by nature because we really want to know what's considered dangerous and what's not. And if we don't actively fight against these negative stories that are inside of our heads, that are actually trying to protect ourselves, then we'll start overthinking every small thing and turning them into little bad stories that we can't win and we'll start dreading going to supermarkets, social events, coffee shops, to other people's birthday parties, family gatherings. And then we'll start dreading everything and start overthinking every small word, every small twitch, every small motion. And it, it is very, very tiring. So that's why if you're already overthinking things, don't hang around with people that just criticizes everything all the time. It's not going to help you. It's just going to give you more ammunition to and more things to think about. And that doesn't help. Same thing, if you're looking at news articles, to some degree it's okay to keep up to date, you want to know what's going on in the world, but don't just read everything all the time and just immense, immerse yourself in it, because there are a lot of negative messaging and like fear-oriented and driven news that is just not productive. So limit yourself, limit the amount of negative exposure that you have in your life, so you're not constantly f giving yourself fuel to make negative stories in your head. So hopefully this was helpful in terms of helping you understand why we overthink sometimes. Honestly, it's just a bad habit that doesn't really help anyone. And we want to really work towards taking that, just throwing it out. So we can really just be ourselves and talk to people and cultivate our talents because the less we're thinking, the more time we can actually spend on doing and becoming a more talented person in general. And I think that's a wonderful thing to like go after. And I hope that's what you'll be doing too. And that is it. Uh, if you like the video, find it helpful. You can like, share, comment, yeah, and let me know. Peace. Take care.